Hello everyone. Um, the explosion of the dam at Novokakhovka continues to dominate the news and it's not surprising. I mean, it's such a massive event with such a great many consequences. Uh, President Zelensky had visited the Kherson region uh, today to find out, you know, what exactly the situation is. Uh, there's ongoing evacuation process, um, trying to, uh, you know, find people homes, find people because we still don't have a clear idea of the casualties. Um, we know that there's been uh, several drownings and the number is likely to go up. And then there is this. So remember, uh, there were earlier reports for several months now uh, that Russian troops occupying that portion of the uh, Ukrainian southeast have basically planted landmines all over the damn place. Well, now that the dam had blown up, uh, those areas have been flooded and basically we now have landmines floating down the river and blowing up as, as they float. Like we didn't have enough problems already. There is um, heavy fighting happening in the um, Zaporizhia region and further to the east of Ukraine. Meanwhile, um, Ukrainian government is asking for help with with the humanitarian and ecological disaster that is the destruction of the Novokakhovka Dam. And here's another data point. Uh, this is from um, Kiev Independent News. So the flooding is threatening 10,000 hectares of uh, farmland. 10,000 hectares of farmland, or that's almost 25,000 acres, are also threatened by this flooding. And remember, Ukraine is still um, expected to supply grain on schedule. So far, the only world humanitarian organization that uh, had made a statement and an effort to provide some kind of assistance in Ukraine is the World Central Kitchen. UN, Red Cross... Nothing so far. Uh, in fact, um, Albanian representative in the UN had expressed frustration with the uh, UN's failure to punish Russia in any shape or form for what they're doing and Russia's continued presence on the Security Council, basically constantly making speeches with unsubstantiated lies. To end on a positive note, here's a picture of a dog rescued by Ukrainian soldiers from the flooded area.